I saw the joy, the just unbelievable joy in the faces of kids who hadn't been in a classroom in a year and a half. I saw the relief of parents. I saw teachers who couldn't wait to get back to what they love being with their kids. First week is under our belt. Really, really pleased with it overall. But we also looked at the week. We asked ourselves, what are things that we can improve upon? What are new approaches that we want to take? The goal is always two crucial things. First and foremost, the health and safety of our kids and our whole school community. Second, maximizing the number of kids in school every day, making sure there's a continuity, avoiding disruption, giving our kids a chance to make that comeback that we know we're going to do this year. So we put together those two goals. We analyzed the data from the first week and with our health care team analyzed the overall situation with COVID. And we're making some changes now on both testing and quarantine protocols. And these will take effect next week starting on the 27th. First of all, we will now go to weekly testing. We'll be testing in elementary, middle, and high school, each school every week. And then we will change the quarantine approach and we'll align to the CDC guidance on that. When there is a, a positive test in a school, excuse me, in a classroom, a positive test in a classroom, the unvaccinated students in their classroom will not have to quarantine if they are masked and three feet distanced. That will allow more kids to safely remain in the classroom. So we've been looking at these two issues over the last few weeks. We looked at it in light of the data from the first week of school. We decided to make both of these changes simultaneously, and they do complement each other.